Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to this brand new Doctor Who DVD Dispensation video. So now we are into part four of my DVD of this DVD Dispensation series, considering that the very first one was season one, then I did season two. Last week I did seasons three and four together, so in this one it is season five. Now the reason I did season three and four together is because there is not really much existing footage and whatever's out on DVD for season three where season four was actually in the same boat about a decade ago but since 2016 season four has really became more existing with the animations and that's why i did those two together <clears throat> so season five what can i say for this dvd dispensation about season five well season five is another iconic season because we get introduced to the great intelligence the robot yetis we have two simon stories of the season and of course, we have the fantastic double ganger type episode where the doctors pretend to be Salamander and you've got Salamander pretending to be the second doctor. So let's go through all of the DVDs for this DVD dispensation. So let's dive in. So the first DVD we actually have got here is, of course, the Tomb of the Cybermen. And this came out in 2002. Yes, 2002. We had the Tomb of the Cybermen release. Now, I absolutely love Tomb of the Cybermen. It is a fantastic Cyberman story. Some people think it is a little bit racist in certain aspects of it, but I don't actually see it. I actually quite enjoy it for other aspects because it is the very first story to feature Cybermats and the Cyber Controller. It's the very first debut story for the Cyber Controller and Cybermats, and I actually quite enjoy it. Now, back in 2012, the... The story itself was re-released in a special edition of Tomb of Seven, which you can get here in Visitations 3. As you can see, I have put it with the other two DVDs that you get in Visitations 3. Tomb of Seven is one I do enjoy. It's absolutely brilliant. And so, yeah, Visitations 3. I'm literally going to pop that. Um, I'm just going to move the Sonics off a minute. Sorry. So, I'm gonna literally going to pop the Visitations 3 box set there. Because... You know, it has the Tomb of Simon Special Edition. Then, of course, like last year, we had the release in 2022 of the Abominable Snowman. Now, the Abominable Snowman is, is a completely missing story. Only episode two exists, which you do get here in the Lost in Time duty box set. But the rest of it was all animated. So we have the animations of episodes one, three, four, five, and six. And then we have all the animations into colour. And then you can even watch it with the animation and the live action episodes i absolutely do love abominable snowman it is becoming one of my favorite trout and stories pretty fastly i mean i've only watched it 30 odd times if that is actually bad since last year yeah i've actually watched it 30 odd times and since last year i was a bit nervous to say that then yeah i've kind of watched it 30 odd times but the Battle of Snowman is actually quite good and absolutely enjoyable then then of course the next dvd we have for season five is the ice warriors Yes, the Ice Warriors, the debut story to the eight to the Ice and Martians. Um, what can I say about the Ice Warriors? Well, it is a good story. It's very very boring in certain aspects, but you do have some good moments in there. Um, unfortunately, I do own another DVD copy of it because I forgot I actually had the Ice Warriors, and I saw this one in a secondhand DVD shop only for five pounds. So I accidentally grabbed grabbed it, and I don't think I had it. But I did. So anyway, the next DVD release. Now we're going back to all the way into 2013 with this DVD release. And it is The Enemy of the World. So back in 2013, all six episodes of this story was found in Nigeria, I believe. And since then, it was released not once, but released twice on DVD. As we have the special edition from 2018. Yeah, 2018, we had the special edition release of this story now i absolutely do love the un underworld i think it's a great story i think it's absolutely brilliant i love the way how the doctor plays a double ganger it's a very much like a james bond type storyline i would really think this would be fit more perfectly for john pertwee as well but i think it's absolutely done brilliantly and absolutely fantastic and i just quite enjoyed enemy of the world i love the special edition because of the new special features and stuff where and the original dvd release there's not really ma many special like features it's just it's just mainly the six episodes then in 2014 we had the very first release of the web of fear 
Now, like another cool fact, like I said about the Abominable Snowman, episode two of the Abominable Snowman X has existed for a long time. Same as episode one of Web of Fear and episode one of the episodes, which one was it? Ah, episode three of Enemy of the World existed in this DVD format that actually came out back in 2003. 2004, sorry. It came out in 2004. And then, now, it's pretty good that we kind of have these stories existing. We, only one story, well, basically one episode is still missing in the Web of Fear. But it was animated back in 2021 when we had the special edition release of it. With, as you know, the fantastic, amazing edition of... That story, I love Web of Fear, it's absolutely brilliant, it's absolutely fantastic actually, I love the whole unit, it's not actually unit, it's literally the days before unit, but you've got the Yetis crawling around the streets of London, uh, we do meet Nicholas Courtney's character, Alistair Gordon Leffert Stewart, it's absolutely done brilliantly, and then the last DVD that we basically have for season 5 is Fury from the Deep, which was animated back in 2020. And so, yeah, you know, we have Free From The Deep, which is a, uh, I'm going to say it, I'm just going to be honest here, it's a very, very of a mixed bag. The animation went really out with this one, you mean with the bigger sets and stuff, where really they normally for the animations to try and go for the way it was broadcast with like really, really small TV studios and sets and stuff. So they kind of went really, really big and I get why people didn't enjoy it and stuff. And then, of course, the last DVD, as I mentioned, because the last story to Season 5 isn't really out on a DVD release on its own, but Episodes 3 and 6, three and six does exist, and it is here in the Lost in Time box set with the other stories, like I mentioned. So, that is what Season 5 kind of looks like, if I just move them to the side a minute. So, if I just quickly pop these to the side, so we have Tomb of the Cybermen... The Abominable Snowman, then of course the Ice Warriors, then two releases of Enemy of the World, two releases of The Web of Fear, and then of course the final addition to Season 5 is Free from the Deep. And you can get the, uh, as you know, the special edition in Visitations 3 box set. Is that it for Season 5? Well, technically yes, and technically no, because I do have three more releases that I kind of want to show for the season. And these are, of course, on Blu-ray. So for Season 5, we only have three stories released onto Blu-ray for fans to enjoy, which is, of course, The Abominable Snowman, The Web of Fear, and Fury from the Deep. And that is everything for Season 5, to be honest with you, with all the DVDs and the Blu-rays. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And to help you out, um, season five, it is a very, very much of like a mixed bag. You've got some good stories. You've got some terrible stories in there. But you still have some iconic ones as the Cybermen have two stories. You've got the Yeti having two, two stories. And the very first appearance of the Ice Warriors. And of course, that is all the DVDs. Literally from Tomb of the Cybermen to the Abominable Snowmen to the Ice Warriors to... Basically, Aim of the World, part, which you've got, kind of got two versions. You can either get the 2013 version or the 2018 version. Or if you want to be like me, go and get the both versions. Same with Web of Fear, because I have the 2014 release. And then, of course, the 2020, 2020, the 2021 release for that one as well. Then, of course, you have Fury from the Deep. And just because, just get the Lost in Time box set, just for Wheel in Space and... Just for the winning space, to be honest with you. Because it would have been necessary to get that story, that DVD just for the other stories. But since then, they have been animated or been found. So, you're not really missing much there. So, yeah, that is what Season 5 should technically look like in your collection. To actually show you what it looks like on your shelf is a whole other matter. So, I'm just going to move the Blu-ray steel box. So, if you want to complete, get a complete DVD version of it. So, this is what Season 5 should actually look like on your shelf in your collection. It does depend what kind of versions you want. I know some people buy the original releases and then they go and get rid of them when the special edition comes out. But, that 
That is what season five looks like on your shelf. Yes, that's what the entire fifth season of Doctor Who looks like on your shelf on DVD. It's pretty good how we've gone from basically, say, back in 2013 or way before 2013, sorry, in 2004. That's what it looked like with the original release of Tomb of the Sidemen to where we are now. So, yeah, season five has grown over the last decade and so. So, yeah. So that's it for season five. Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share, and join for more awesome Doctor Who content.